Who makes policy? Well, typically the political branches, that is to say our elected officials, Congress and the president. And they do this through laws, appropriations of giving money in the budget, and as we've discussed, inaction. It can also be through executive orders potentially. Now, policy is typically shaped and implemented by the bureaucracy who are unelected. And we know that the court can kind of make policy too. Things like um, Roe versus Wade, which set out a trimester system for deciding sort of when um, abortion can and cannot be restricted by the government, sounds a lot more like policy making than it does just sort of routine legal analysis of something. So we know that all three branches can make policy, even unelected officials like bureaucrats and the court. But because policy is not the actions of a single individual, and typically not even the actions of a single branch, we know that many people are involved in making policy because policy is so big. So individuals like the president or the nine justices of the Supreme Court, sometimes um, in the case of Roe v. Wade, it was actually not all nine, it was seven of them, can make policy. But it's still generally a, lar a reflection of larger policy measures that uh, will, larger policy, I should say, theories that will be enacted by measures by multiple different officials and branches, not just individuals. So many people go into shaping policy. Now, it's important to remember that not just the government is involved, right? Public feedback is involved. And of course, interest groups can get involved. I mentioned in another video that government inaction on gun control is a statement of government policy on gun control. But we know that groups like the NRA lobby the government, talk to the government and say, hey, we don't want you to take more action. And we've seen political campaign ads put on by the NRA's PAC, which even though it's not express advocacy, it is only issue advocacy, it certainly does sound a lot like they're advocating for a specific candidate to be elected or a specific candidate to be voted against in the election, right? So we can see how all these groups ultimately work together in some way to shape overall policy.